Today when you look around you, you find the whole world full of conflicts, injustice, twisting truth, twisting history. Every single day we watch, we hear, we face lots of things that we need to stop and say, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And our first wait a minute will be for the Innocent Prophet movie. Produced by Dr. Terry Jones, who mentioned that the facts of the movie is taken from Quran, Hadith, and Islamic history. Dr. Terry Jones asked, was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the inspired prophet of God, or was he a mad man driven by his own demons to produce a religion of violence? The movie consists of 12 chapters. We will reply to each and every chapter from the Holy Quran, Hadith, and Islamic history. Stay with me to find out is Islam is a religion of peace or Islam is a religion of violence and oppression. Stay with me. Islam, the second biggest religion on earth. Muslims say that Islam is a peaceful and tolerant religion. But the evidence speaks to the contrary, that Islam is a violent, full of hatred and intolerant religion.
which is the real face of Islam. What is actually Islam? It is an accurate historical betrayal of the Prophet Muhammad. The facts in the movie are taken from the Quran, the Hadiths, and Islamic history. It will answer the question, was Muhammad an inspired prophet of God who, who, who gave us a new revelation, new religion? Or was he a madman? Was he a perverted madman driven by his own demons, thus producing a religion of, of violence and tyranny? I believe that as you watch the film, these two very important questions will be answered. Is Islam a religion of peace? Or is Islam a religion of violence and oppression? Thank you. Chapter 1 The Situation of the Arab World It was the year 570 in the Arabian city of Mecca during the time of Christianity and Judaism. The Arab world was going well without many conflicts. There were Bedouins, nomad pastors organized by tribes. There were also farmers who lived in the north or in the areas more fertile and dense in the south. During this time, the majority of the people followed polytheist religions. Although a few of the tribes followed Judaism, Christianity, or Zoroastrianism. The city of Mecca was a religious center for some of the northern Arab polytheists, since it already had the sacred wall of Zamzam and a small temple the Kaaba. Chapter 2 Muhammad Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, Mr. Mustache. Before you jump to Chapter 2, let me give you an idea about the whole world and how it looks like during this period. Roman and Persian empires, two main powers in control of the whole world during this period. By the end of these two empires, Unfairness, injustice, lack of humanity values was so common during this period. As all of us, we watched in the old historical movies a lion wrestling with a man until one of them would kill the other. According to a famous historical writer called Yeltsin, he wrote that in the 6th century, the world looked like a big dead man body. And with all my respect to women, during this period, there was lots of studying around women. Are they humans or are they animals? And the soul that they are carrying is the soul of a human or soul of a devil. Stay with me after the break to find out more about the Arab world and especially Mecca where Prophet Muhammad was born. Peace be upon him. Stay with me. 